Hello! Well, today I'm going to make a really short video because I don't have much to say about it. It's one of those you should just watch on your own. Just watch it. Buy it on DVD or Blu-ray or if it's streaming smart, watch it. That movie is... It Follows. Um, this is a film from 2014. I remember seeing this on the big screen and enjoying it, but I didn't buy this until a few years later on Blu-ray. Don't ask me why. I, it's just one of those things you see, you enjoyed it, but you never got it until later. Or in some cases, you just never bought it to begin with. Might have seen it elsewhere. But anyway, um, this film really, it's just, the synopsis is a, a girl, uh... It was on a date with someone, some guy, and uh, they have sex. And because of that, well, now she's essentially uh, haunted or so, of sorts by some entity that only people who have this who, who have this thing upon them. It's not really a curse, but something upon them. Only they can see this entity. Uh, so she can see this thing, or there's like this woman coming after her to kill her. None of her friends can see it. Nobody else can see it. Only her. And the only way anyone else could ever see it is if you know she has sex with them. And uh, if that doesn't happen, well, well, that's unfortunate for her. And It's one of those things you keep... It's like, oh, you have sex with... The guy says, have sex with someone else, and they'll be their problem. Then they'll have to get rid of it. That's just a constant cycle. They'll just go after whoever is the current holder of this thing. And, but yeah, it's 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 an interesting movie. It's very different, and and nobody actually talks about this movie anymore. At least not from what I can tell. It, it got a lot of positive reviews. A lot of critics surprisingly liked it. Uh, it is a horror film, which which actually surprises me because anytime any people like horror films, like critics. It surprises me because you know uh, many critics like to dump on horror films. Like, and again, I say like, oh, there's nothing new or original. But you know, something like this comes out, and it is very good. It's a very fine film, and I'm actually kind of glad that critics are actually they actually agree that this is a good film, and they don't just dismiss it as something stupid. Because um, they do that sometimes. Critics do do that um, with some films. Particularly slasher films, and this is in the slasher film. Um, yeah, yeah, it's. Um... Then again, I said it was a woman. Well, it is, but then it could be just some sort of entity too, some sort of like a as a, like a... And she's plagued. She's got visions and yeah, someone or something. She has a sense of someone or something is following her watching her and uh, it's a very good film uh, again if you've never seen it watch it anyway I'm sure on DVD or blu-ray it's fairly cheap now it's been over five years it's like been five years since this film came out so I'm sure you can find it at a decent price um, if it's not streaming anywhere so you know it's a good film um, I enjoy it, it's not, but I also sort of think, like it was a huge, it was a huge deal when it came out, I remember, but then after a while, it kind of like it died down, I noticed not many people talk about it, like unless it was like a highly rated, uh, they, people rated it incredibly highly and it was on the top ten lists of their favorite films, not just like horror films of this year or of the decade, but just of the year in general. Not many people talked about this movie after a while. It just sort of, yeah, I saw it. It was really good. I enjoyed it. But then that was that'd be like the most of the discussion. Like nothing else would come of it. But you know, rewatching it, it's like it, this film should be talked about more. And apparently there's a talks of possibly a sequel. I don't know. Um, honestly, I like the film how it is. Um, as interesting as it would to see a sequel and how either this main characters are doing with, after 
the events of the first film, or we see somebody else dealing with similar circumstances, how they're dealing with it, uh, as interesting as it is, I don't know, it's like I, I'm sort of uh, skeptical, skeptical, I can't even talk, skeptical on that whole thing of sequels, because sometimes some films really, le you want or need a sequel to this, like, to stop at just one movie will be stupid or just foolish, and you need more. This, though, I don't think we need to have a sequel. I don't think a uh, sequel was, was ever needed to even be discussed or thought of. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, if the guy who made this film has a good idea and gets the right people involved, be they from this film or an entire new, entire new cast of characters and people... Uh, yay, you know, hey, you know, uh, great, um, I'd be interested, uh, I would hate if this great film was just, had a sequel and it was complete garbage and you're like, this was never needed, this was a stupid idea to even begin with of having, and like, even in hindsight, even if the idea sort of sounds interesting to you if you've seen this film, and you think that would be cool to have a sequel, I, I, do, I just don't see I don't need, think it's a necessity to have a sequel, but it would be interesting. Uh, that's that's really all I have to say. Again, not much to say here, because just watch it. Watch it for yourself. See if you like it, and if you do, great. And if you don't, that's fine too. You know, you gave it a chance. Uh, that's all you can do for certain films. You know, if you end up not liking it, you, got, you gave it a chance. You hope it's good because I'm like, watch any movie. You hope it's good because you're gonna commit yourself to certain, so many minutes, a couple hours at the very least sometimes, and you just really want to have a good time because otherwise, if you're not having a good time watching a movie, that's like you're watching a two-hour film, and then it's like this is just dragging, and I hate this movie. It's just bad, or it's boring, or it's both, and there's various reasons as to why you don't like it. Sometimes people don't like a certain genre, so some hate horror, some hate fantasy, some hate science fiction, some hate this, some hate that. Um, I'm somebody who I'm really open to various genres of films particularly horror. I do enjoy horror, but I don't love it as much as I used to in my teenage years. But I still love horror. Um, and this was a unique horror film. It's a horror film that needs more love, I think. But to the point of having a sequel, I don't know. I don't necessarily think so. But that's my opinion. Maybe you think differently if you've seen it, or you watch it after seeing this video, if I somehow convinced you it's good to watch this movie, I seriously doubt I do that, but you never know. Could be someone out there that sees this video. Here's my terrible, not even very good, in depth uh, synopsis of this film and me talking about this. And they watch it, they might not think it's good. Or maybe they do think it's good. I don't know. I, I, I doubt like it's good enough to where they're interested, at the very least, of watching this movie. So, with all that said, uh, I hope you all have a good day. hope you all have a great week. And a great weekend, also. Great weekend and great week. And I'll see you all next time.